Hi there, welcome back to Stellaris Snail Wars, <laughs> where I, I have thought long and I have made some test games with our <laughs> empires, of course, similar to the, to the snails. I have thought long about um, the things the subscribers and, and viewers have written me. And they have written me that it's very risky <laughs> to go for the genocidal path just yet, as everyone hates us already. And the more they hate us, the higher is the um, probability they will attack. And they really may attack us. And this is usually not a problem, but at the moment it is because we're recovering from that war we had against that union hmm. so like oh once very good friends the holy roachan empire that were up like here closing into overwhelming are now only in the middle of superior and we were like at like yeah we were leaving a lot of a lot more empires behind and as much I'd love to talk about the Crowd Union and I have prepared something for it, I think we have pressing matters. We have pressing matters to do. Because the shell is in danger. <laughs> we really, we cannot even allow ourselves to develop much because we need to expand our fleet to the at least 90% of our naval capacity or we will be helpless against the Vol conglomerate which is closing to into overwhelming. Let's see here. They are su more superior than the Holy Roachan Empire. They have a non-aggression pact with a League of Rainbow Light here. <laughs> These are overwhelming, <laughs> by the way. And the T-Human Hierarchy has a defensive pact with a wall, which means they kind of like each other. And where are they? This is a T-Human Hierarchy, very big, as big as our area. And there's the Vol, also very big, as big, at least as big as the Holy Roachans. So, these two guys unite and they have already gotten the Elder Things Interplanetary Sovereignty under their belt. Then we're in trouble. So we're in trouble right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're in big trouble. We have to expand our fleet a lot so they will not attack for a while. I mean, in time, we'll have, we will probably gain an advantage if we can stand. And I've, I've had a look also at some other things. There's Nautilus Triumph here, right? And it's a power planet. And I really, I really want to give this conceptual power planet to the um, to the Hadnock Prime sector, and instead I want to get Suhiri Prime, which is much more developed right now, and which has an expanded planetary capital already. So we're actually saving a bit of um, influence if we're removing this and adding this into it. And why am I doing that? Because we need minerals first and foremost. And they have the high quality minerals modifier, 25% more minerals. So it will be extremely good that, to get that system in. And so what we need to do here is to manage Hadnock Prime here. We need a way to that planet. So we'll go for Sif. Nautilon's Triumph and we'll remove the Suhiri system. I mean it has cost us influence but that's okay. That is okay. And now we have some more minerals going on for us and we have the Suhiri system. And let's see what we can do. I mean we still have a lot of places open here. We can expand the spaceport. I mean, first things first, I'd like to go for hydroponics farm there. But we cannot afford that at the moment. 
We're getting a lot of energy credits though, which is good. And if we have someone without work there, that will also be corrected. But for now, um, we're just ignoring it a bit. Because we need to expand our forces. But that's uh, something for the future, right? Then we need to manage these separatists. We're not killing them now. Because that would further enrage all of the opponents we have. So we need to suppress them, which will cost us some influence. But it's we cannot do anything else about it. Yeah, then we need a new rival. And it's... I mean, it's hard. We need a rival that is... That first thing hates us, and on the other hand is um, an absolutely useless opponent. Something like that here would be nice. The, the Misofa Galactic Cooperative or something like that. I mean, they, they hate us a lot, and we have a rivalry with them. And... Already, yeah. The United Moog Foundation, yeah, no, we don't want anything to do with them. The Royal Afteran Systems, do you hate us too? Yeah, you hate us a lot. <laughs> it's a harmonic just collective, but we'll declare rivalry to them. They have a defensive pact, that's all. Uh, it will, will not give us a lot of influence, so... We may just refrain from that. <laughs> so, ha. Huh. There's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. Hmm. Let's continue to do it. First and foremost, our leads shall be in superior form. We have corvettes, we have destroyers, and we're closing in on the strength of the Holy Rochans. And next thing, I've also tested federations in my test games, and I have to say federations. <laughs> Yeah, the Federation fleet is almost always steered by your ally. If you're sending them somewhere, they're sending it back. So they are completely useless. Just have to say it like that. <laughs> it's that's that's it. That's that's the thing. <laughs> completely useless. Uh, let's see. Maybe we can get another upgrade here. Let's see. I mean, the synchronized defenses here would be very good as well. So we could maybe go for another upgrade of the spaceport here. It should be good. In time. Because we need to protect this. This is a very important system. I have to say, I'm, I'm very, very uh, maybe fearful right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Definitely, we're under pressure. Hmm, tell us about the mysteries of the universe. Powerful entities. What else do you have to offer? No, nothing. Hmm. Someone died. Makalo Oyin Lola. 77. That was a good age. We can assign another scientist or recruit one. Do we have someone very good to recruit? No. So let's assign um, the, the, the Pathfinder captain. Alicia Vasquez for now she shall lead the research
Oh, we so need these armor torpedoes. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Construction complete. More corvettes. Yeah, I'd like to have about the same number of corvettes as we have Duck Snail class destroyers, so uh, that is like balanced. Mm. Of course, we'll soon have the torpedo, so I think we should concentrate on Duck Snail classes now. And of course, um, on the spaceport here. Let's see, what would the next upgrade cost? 150. Yeah, that's fine. We're waiting for it. We're waiting for it. The protectors of the inner shell need to grow and grow and grow because we're in danger, danger, danger. <laughs> Come on. Give us the better spaceport. 2k. Nice. Now for the synchronized defenses and another shell class. Oh no. I want to do, go for Dark Snail classes. Trade Treaty has run out with the Holy Rogians. Yeah, I mean, we should really try to get it back. They're cordial to us. Let's offer the trade deal again. Energy credits. We can give you a lot of energy credits. Uh, okay. Borderline useless. Look at that. Over 400, they don't want anything. Hmm. Can we give you minerals, maybe? Ah, uh, we need to wait a bit. Maybe we need to give them some minerals, because we really need that research agreement. <laughs> There's no way around it. Now we've got more. Ah, uh, maybe another month. Another month. Give us the research agreement, come on. <laughs> we need it. Now? Hey there. Mm, research agreement. Energy credits, you wanted how many? All right was going for 400 that was okay now minerals 300 how long oh god all right that's not possible but that is possible 10 years is okay let's go for that trade offer didn't work somehow ah uh, why not? I mean, what's what's going wrong here? We'll give we'll give you a lot of minerals and a lot of energy credits, like that. No. Why can't we do that? <laughs> I don't understand. <sighs> Anyways, if we cannot do it, then we'll build duck snail classes. A lot of duck snail classes. A whole number of duck snail classes. We have Suahiri Prime here. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing much else. Oh, we're now the Federation leader again, which will help absolutely nothing. If you're the Federation leader, that doesn't help you anything. <laughs> it just gives you more ship maintenance, I think, or something like that. It's really bad. So that system is totally crappy. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend the Federation. 
I've tried around with it because we're in that federation and it's really hard. Uh, you need to be as you know, yeah, you need to be nearly as strong as to be able to take on two opponents because uh, yeah, <laughs> your significant other <laughs> will not help you in battle. They will just not help you. They will fight their own. They will do their own thing, like fly to systems, invade them, and they will gain points for you. But you need to you need to do the hard work. You need to um, kill the enemy fleets, which means <laughs> we need to expand our fleets a lot. And I really want to fly this armada um, here because if they're in that orbit we'll need a lot less resources to keep them going. <laughs> Oh, look at that, the armored torpedo is now 18 months. Uh. <laughs> hey, holy roachens, are you sure? I mean, please, can we can we do that research agreement thing? We'll give you everything we have. Come on, 400, 300, and the minerals. That should be nice, shouldn't it be? No, they're just resetting. They don't they don't even say no. It's not possible to do it. For some strange reason. <laughs> Construction ah. complete. Neptulus has finished its construction. Hmm, maybe they have too many too many resources, I'm not sure. Hmm. Duck snail class is going forward here. And we'll have the naval capacity improved soon. So we can get even better and bigger fleets. And that's pretty good. Let's go for these duck snail classes now. I'm pretty sure I want them. Research complete. Interstellar warfare, gradual adaptation to the realities of deep space combat allows us to effectively coordinate larger maneuvers. And now, what will what will make us prosper? Or, on the other hand, what would uh, be able to um, make the galaxy safer again? I mean, this one, of course, make us prosper the leader lifespan going up. That would be very nice, of course. Uh, if Nautilon would bless us. That would help. So let's go for the vitality boosters. I think that's a good idea. Let's hope Alicia Vasquez lives long enough <laughs> to get the 10 years. <laughs> oh. I really hope we can do this. <laughs> Yeah, the Siohiri system is a good system. New contact, the hegemony of Lawarm. Interesting. Oh, God. Ruthless capitalists. A hegemony of... No. Oh, <laughs> insect lovers. Hmm. Your kind will not threaten our unity. They are already closing borders. And... Of course, Alicia Vasquez has died. <laughs> God. The galactic stars of the stars. We've allowed you to move about freely in our territory too long. Today we draw the line. All right. Now, who do we have here? Mm, Snaily McSnail Face would be would be a good choice for this. Uh, I'd I'd like to have another scientist going for us. <laughs> that would be a nice expertise, but he is much too old. That would be good as well, like spread our expertises out. Kabir Pillai, 33 years old. 
that would be cheap but cheap is is just cheap now let's go for the expertise particles guy and level him or her up 